Hey everyone, I'm Dave. Welcome into my shop. Today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing this thermal camera. It's the SC240M camera and I uh, haven't even opened it up yet. So I'm going to open it up, take a look what's in there, uh, charge it up, and then I'll give a quick review for you. Let's take a look. I'm shipping your standard box. Looks like a carrying case. Velcro hold, shoulder strap. Nice little case to carry what uh, the camera will be. Uh, by the way, I'm not being paid for this review in any way. I didn't get the product for free. I just wanted to review it so you guys would uh, know what it's like when you're buying one. Package nice and tight in there. Bubble wrap. And good box. It's all sealed. Good quality box. Makes you feel like it's a solid product. Comes with a 64 gigabyte card and an operating manual. USB cable and the camera itself. All right, well, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to read about it, get it plugged in, get it charged up, come back and show you up close what a lot of these things are like. Okay, so here's the close up look at the Viver handheld thermo imager. Uh, first off, this is the quick start guide. I'm not sure how great it is because there's not really a lot of quick start information. It doesn't tell you to charge the unit. It doesn't tell you to put in the SD card. I guess maybe you wouldn't be using this equipment if you, uh, if you didn't know how to do that. So maybe that's just why they skip by it. Basically, safe use instructions. Tells you what each thing is on the device. Very, very basic operation. Just talks about the settings. Doesn't really say what they do or how to use them. So this really feels more like a, a situation you got to dig in and just take a look at it. Um, does have the, the plastic cover on it so you can have the screen protected during shipping and everything. Uh, nice looking camera. It's a uh, you know, good handheld trigger on the front. It's got the regular camera infrared lights on it. You can hold down a light button to turn lights on in case you need light. Here it has the uh, control pad. This is the return key, the power key the quick gallery look at the pictures you've taken and that's the way you turn the light on. So let's turn it on. Hold down that power button a little bit and screen will pop up and it starts to uh, turn on and initialize. While that's waiting, uh, they, this case is pretty nice. It's got a belt clip on it if you wanna go to a job site and carry it with you everywhere you go. Shoulder strap if you don't. Nice Velcro enclosure, so decent, uh, decent stuff that comes along with this. Systems initializing. All right, there we go. And it's turned on right away. Um, these uh, little crosshairs in the middle, that's the center of the screen. The green one is the coldest part of the area, and the red one tracks the warmest part of the screen. So those things jump all over the place while you're moving around, seeing what's the hot and cold spot, spot of any room. Um, how to get into the menu, just hit that center button once, it pops up, and the first thing is that crosshair is measurement. You can hit it again, and you can see that you got the center spot, a hot spot is the red one, cold spot is the green one, and then closing the menu. So you can, you can toggle that. If you say you didn't wanna have the cold one up there, you didn't care about looking for cold, you can actually turn that cold spot off or on, hot spot off or on and all that if you didn't want to have those. So kind of a way to do that. I had them all three on for my uh, review here. Another way, next thing over is the view mode. So in view mode, you can have infrared, you can have fuse, which is kind of a combination of looking through the regular camera and the infrared. It kind of shows everything you see a little more clearly of what it actually is through the camera, but then it also tints it a color to see, you know, the infrared look. Uh, then there is picture in picture, which gives you the outside camera regular. The inside is the infrared. Uh, and then just the visible camera. If you wanted to you know, take a regular picture of something, you could do that as well. Uh, and alignment screen as well. I'm going to leave it on the IR version. All right, next thing is the palette. Right now, you hit that palette, and you can say that we're looking through the lava mode right now. But you could look through iron. Totally changes the look there a little bit. You can go through uh, black hot. So everything that turns that's hot turns black. You can go white hot. Everything that's white is hot. And you can kind of, I mean, right now I'm just kind of looking around in my shop here, kind of messy at all the different stuff, but you can see the, the lights are showing up as white hot. Um, 
another option, the red gray. And then you got rainbow HC, rainbow, and back to lava. I guess you just pick which one you like the best. And then the last action on the uh, menu, the quick menu is settings. When you go into settings, there's a lot of options here. You got your um, measurement parameter. So you can go in and, and pick each parameter that you want your of the measurements on the unit. Um, there's also a temperature scale. You can pick, uh, it, it ranges either in uh, uh, Celsius, Fahrenheit, or Kelvin. I went through, I already sent mine to, to Fahrenheit. And you can check nine, minus 3 to 302 or 212 to 1022, depending on what you are actually measuring. Um, high, low alerts. You can set uh, your photo setting. I set mine to auto. Every time I take a picture, just to auto save it. Uh, temperature, that's where you can pick whether you wanted Kelvin, Fahrenheit, or Celsius. Uh, date and time, language you're using, the brightness you want to have, if you want the auto power off. And then they even have a, a deeper system setting where you can uh, factory reset the unit or format the SD card all at one time. So that's basically all the settings this unit has. Uh, to take a picture, you just kind of look around at what you want to take a picture of depending on what it is. For instance, we'll take a look out here uh, into my house here. And you can see like in the shop it's a little cool, but out in the, the rest of the house is pretty warm. Hold that squeeze that trigger once and their photo finished it took it uh, if you want to do another one take another picture just squeeze it i have it on auto save it auto saves it if you don't have it on auto save it pops up asking if you want to save it and then there's another option where you hold that trigger down and it starts counting down like a video so you can take a video of a certain thing when you're done squeeze the trigger again and the video stops and you have to decide to save this one hit the center button to save it when you go to the gallery, you can see, hit the gallery button, you can see there's the pictures I just took as well, all on there. So, uh, it, you know, it's just a quick review of this thing. It, it, it appears to be working pretty well. Um, I have to tell you that the quick start guide to go through those menus, it, it doesn't even say the right words um, compared to what's on the screen here. So I don't know how well that book is written and how well it explains anything about this meter, but I uh, definitely love the aspect of being able to walk around the house and check for hot spots and cold spots, um, you know, working on a car, checking things out there, all kinds of different ways that you could use this unit. So, so that's it for the unboxing part. You know, real solid box, feels good, good solid unit. I'm going to go uh, test it a little bit more on a couple other things, show you how it works a little bit. Thanks for watching. Okay, I'm going handheld here for a second. Thought I'd bring this up here to the uh, kitchen, show you a little bit about how this thing checks out. Again, the, the different um, targets, the green one's finding the coldest area, the red one's finding the hot, hottest. Uh, this is my coffee maker, and it's, it's actually not on right now, but it was earlier. So you can see that the inside of the coffee pot is hot, where the water is inside the Keurig here. Um, but the, the mug and the craft are actually cold until we turn them on. Let's go. I'm going to set this on. I'm going to turn on the power to the unit. Let's make a 12 ounce cup and let's see what happens. Here we go. So you can see it's starting to fire up. All right, now that the uh, water begins to flow, you can immediately start to see how hot the bottom of that cup is getting. And as the water fills up, the cup also gets hotter as it climbs up. Obviously, we all knew this was going to happen, but it looks cool to see it on this camera. Go into one of those different view modes while we're doing this here. Let's say we go into a, the fuse mode. Ooh, look at that. Interesting how the fuse mode works. You can see how the picture in picture that shows it hot on the inside. You kind of go off it to see what it's actually looking at the cup right there. That's just the visible light, of course. Interesting how. It looks differently. There's a full cup. You can see the handle on that mug is staying nice and cool. The top of it is nice and cool, but anywhere where the uh, hot water is, the uh, camera is really showing it. Now, there's not a lot of people that would need to use this camera to see if their coffee is getting hot. That's obvious, of course. And as you can see, it's working really well. Uh, but this does show you that the gun works nicely. It picks up all the hot and cold spots. And, uh, and it. Uh, now I'd like to check out the rest of my house. All right, here's a shot of my front doors. As you can see, mostly glass. And you can see here, 
uh, warm all around cold on that actual door because that would be of course where the where it's cold as we get a little closer we'll see if we can see any spots yeah it's cold when we get close now it shows the door being warm but like the spots where the cold air is escaping as you can see is turning dark uh, right down here towards the bottom you can see there's a um, little blue black dots there those are nail holes or where you if you'd had a, a larger door handle that went through obviously that's a hole going all the way through the door losing some heat there looking around at the other windows here same type of thing they're cold hey this one's kind of fun my pet bird blazer hey blaze he's showing up bright hot on there um He's by a window, so you can see it's cold out there. He looks like he wants to come out. Hey, Blaze. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching the unboxing and review of this camera. I uh, got a lot more to learn about how to use it and how to figure out where the cold air and hot air is coming in, but I can tell the technology in the unit is quite good. I like it.